Okay, so this is influence line. So what is influence line? It is a diagram construct to show the variation in the effect of a single moving unit load on some functions at any sections of a beam. Uh, flare girders or dresses such as reaction, shear, bending moments, or deflection in a member. So, uh, ito yung mga example sa mga tulay natin. Kasi sa tulay, yung may mga moving loads and then may, may mga trusses din, di ba? Example, ito yung pavement natin. And then, ito naman yung deck ng ano natin, ng tulay natin. So, ito yung mga supports natin dyan. So, sabi doon sa mini, variation in the effect of single moving unit load. Why? Kasi kung ito yung gulong natin, mag um, consider lang tayo ng unit load, one unit load, kasi minumultiply na lang dito yung functions niyan or value para makuha yung, yung total. So, kapag yan dadaan dito, every single kasi niya na pagdaan niya dyan, every span or kaya every distance dito, may tinatawag tayong effects. Yung effects niyan, it could be reactions, shear, bending moments, and deflection. So, kanya-kanya yan. Ano po? So, dito yung mga supports natin, reaction. So, meron tayong bending. Depende kung ano gagawin natin for your, or kung ano itsura na influence lines natin. Kasi yung mga gulong na sasakyan, dumadaan yan. So, ibig sabihin, kapag nagkaroon dito ng gulong, mas mataas dito yung reaction or kaya naman, pag dito sa kabila mas mataas dito yung shear and then so on, ano po so example tayo para rito okay so example number 1 construct the influence line for the reaction at B due to a unit load on the spawn AB so this is your spawn AB, this is your unit load, hindi natin alam kung ano yung X and this is length L and then, one unit load. So, para makuha yung reaction at B, kailangan mag-summation moment at A muna tayo. Is equal to zero. Clockwise is positive. So, din yung tayo moment So, matatanggal yung RA. So, we have 1.0 multiplied by X. Okay? Minus your RB multiplied by this distance or length, which is L, is equal to zero. So, it transpose natin to to become positive. So, we have RB. Okay, L is equal to 1.0x or roughly RB is equal to 1.0x over L. And then, ano naman yung limit natin? We have here limits. Para sa yung limit? Para ma-determine natin yung reaction. So, from this point, kasi dito siya manggagaling, 0, should be less than equal to x and should be, um, yan, less than or equal to the value of L. So, ilagay natin dyan L kasi hanggang dito yung spawn B natin. When X is equal to 0, eto, kunin natin to as your equation. So, your RB is equal to 1.0 multiplied by 0 divided by L is 0 kilonewton. How about RB? When X is equal to L, what is your RB? So, this is 1.0 multiplied by L divided by L is equivalent to 1.0 kilonewton. So, paano yung uh, drawing yan? So, if this is our span, okay, this is A, this is B, drawing natin yung IL for the reaction. So, from this point, 0, and this is 1. So, lagay natin dyan 1 kilo newton. So, this is the figure on your yan, influence line para sa yan, lagay natin IL for RB. So, yan yung itsura ng IL for RB natin. Ayan. Okay. Naging 1, and then umangat. Ayan, so that is your RB, IL for RB, which means influence line for reaction B. And then sa RA, 0 yan, so dito lang magkakaroon ng 1 kilonewton.